So, Gerard, I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your vodka can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about this, Sir Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred... You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing. Unleashing them on men is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes. Yes, I am prepared to go all the way, my good Admiral. Good. Good. I knew I could count on you. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? Take us into orbit, Mr. Malmsteen. We've seen enough. Dear viewer, I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to StarCraft Cartoon. The nefarious Zerg Overmind has been destroyed, and the Protoss homeworld of Ire now lies in a smoking ruin. As the executor of the remaining Protoss forces, you must now attempt to reunite your beleaguered people and save them from the ravenous Zerg who still roam mindlessly across the blackened fields of ire. Welcome, everyone, to StarCraft Brood War. 
All the levels from here on out were from the game's official expansion pack. We will have new units, new scenarios, new planets to explore. And a spike in difficulty that, given my performance previously, I am not especially happy about. Is correct, exactly. But I know I can do it. The first thing we have to do, though, is evacuate Ire. Even with the Overmind dead, all of the Zerg previously under its control are now just mindless feral packs. Individually, perhaps, less dangerous than a unified force. But they are still dangerous, still deadly, still predatory, and they are now free to breed uncontrolled across the surface of the world. Luckily, we're going to have Zeratul this level. And if you remember, Zeratul is really freaking powerful. I really love how down here in the background you can see we've got like some signs going on. Well, High Templar. I assume it's a High Templar because they're hovering over here with a megaphone. You know, it's just adorable. And the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Ah, yes. I am Artanis. Hello, Artanis. Though I've only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. As a new Praetor, I'm sure that Artanis will be uh, very, uh, very useful in guarding the classical city of Rome. And of course, we got Jim with his adorable little tongue sticking out. And this time, I promise, throughout the Brood War, I will do the special voice lines for every character. Alright. So I promised that I would uh, include all of the uh, unit's special dialogue. So we're going to start that off with Zeratul here. Persecuted us for generations. Yeah, sorry about that. And now you beg us to aid you? Yeah. We will do what we must. But we do it for Io, not you. Okay, that sounds fair. So be it. Step one take out the Nidus Canal. And then take out that Nidus Canal and that Nidus Canal. We're really going to be relying on Zeratul for this one. So we're going to use this guy as a distraction. Alright, excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, take out those Zerglings. There, tool. Please go destroy that Nidus Canal. Yeah. He's taking a fair amount of damage. I don't like that. Whatever. Take out that one. Yes, that's fine. So, now we're actually going to enter into a little ambush type thingy. Yes, okay. All of you move in. Zeratul. 
Zeratul, please move behind the enemy lines. Take out these targets. Nope. Nope. Zeratul, stop getting attacked! Damn it. Zeratul! What the? He's, he's already mostly dead. That's fantastic. That's really fantastic. He's already mostly dead. I'm so happy about that. I do not know why I am having trouble with that. I never really have that much trouble with that part. There's an Ultralisk up here. Crap! There's two Ultralisks up here! Oh. God. So be it. All right, all right. Look, I I only have to go a little bit farther, and then I'll actually get a shield battery, and I can uh, get my poor guys healed up. Crap! Freaking thing! Would you people please just kill that thing? Your borders, Templar. It will be done. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. I can't afford to have you taking hits. Sorry, Zeratul. But for the time being, you're basically useless to me. So be it. Good. Now, Zeratul, can you please go recharge yourself? Okay. So, what I am going to do, since the Dragoons are technically faster... Oh, great, they can't even... They, they can't even make psionic storms. That's fantastic. That's that's really freaking fantastic. Alright, you know what? Whatever. We just have to get down here to this warp gate. So let's just focus on moving together. We should have the numbers we need in order to succeed. Zeratul, can you take out that Nidus colony, or that uh, Nidus canal, please? Yep, okay, everybody down, everybody down. Alright, continue the journey. Zeratul. Zeratul, destroy the freaking colony! is very annoying. Now there's going to be a bunch of units popping up by each of these caves. But I think we'll be okay now. Even super strong ultralisks can't compare to the deadly fury of, uh, of a pair of of Archons. That's just really how tough Archons are. Alright, everybody into the base. Everybody retreat. Everybody into the gate. There we go. That's what I like to see. Everybody retreat. Dude, can, can you guys retreat too, please? Yes, thank you. Yes, good. Warp gate. That's what I need. Yeah, that's really great. Okay. 
And then this poor base here just gets really attacked. Oh, great. We got Jimmy and Phoenix to help us. Uh, Jimmy, can you drop a few mines, please? Thank you, sir. And that's the first level. I promise... AP oh, actions permit. It actually gives me a recording of that. Didn't know that. Alright, I promise other levels are going to go better. I'm not terrible at this. I promise I am trying really hard. That level is just kind of annoying. We lost contact with Phoenix and Raynor. I fear that they may have been overrun by the Zerg. Oh, no. Not our Tannis. Phoenix is a stalwart of warrior. Yeah, what I don't get is why Jim showed up to this event, like, in his vulture bike? Because he has a command ship, the Hyperion. And there's nothing wrong with the Hyperion, so... Why didn't he just bring the Hyperion? Actually, realistically, it should not... Now that I think about it, it really shouldn't be a problem for the Zerg. Oh, those are cute. Those are supposed to be birds. They're just fat flying penguin thingies. Now that I think about it, even with the Zerg broods being feral, there really shouldn't be any way that a disorganized force would be able to compare with an organized uh, air force. Because the Zerg really, really have to rely on numerical superiority to have any hope of combating uh of combating, you know, space fleets. And it's hard to imagine that Feral Zerg uh, would be capable of posing that kind of a threat. But yeah, down here on planet surfaces, almost certainly Zerg are a very serious problem. Soon as this Nexus is complete, my base will be attacked by a few people from each side. So that's why I have my forces split up and ready to deal with that. What did Probe say? Yeah, they get kind of annoyed. I think we've already heard the Zealot and the Dragoon, but... Why not? Yep, here they come. So, as you can see, I'm definitely outnumbered on each side, but I do have Dark Templar backing me up, which is nice. Oh, yeah, the Zerg? Yes, they are slightly ill-tempered. Yes, I am working on it. All right, Zealot. Alright, 
All right, that was easy enough. Just fun little things. Then get more mineral. So this level uh, is not too bad. Building like a basic dracoon group will be more than enough to handle it. All of the attacks from the southern area will be forced across this bridge. So my first priority is building up a quick defense. Oh, those little birds are adorable. And I'm also going to put a pylon here because the enemy really likes to send in a few flyers here. And I have a few ethical concerns with their strategy of doing that. Uh, I think it's I, I, I think it's quite rude. They can also attack from the top side, but I think Whoop, okay. Yep, yeah, alright, back up, back up. Yes, that's fine. Alright, I want you to build a gateway. You do too. Don't you tell me what I can't build. Just build what I tell you. All right, how do we, how many do we have over here, four? I don't know if we actually need four. Uh, actually it looks like it's doing just fine, so we're gonna leave it at that. But I do want this base built quickly. We need to start our upgrades. We need to start building up our forces. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Please get a cyber core going. Excellent. Now, the uh, Brood War campaign, again, it tends to start me out with limited unit options in its earlier levels. But it also tends to open them up a lot faster than the base game. So, like, in just a few levels, I'm going to have access to almost the full range of units from, from StarCraft. Which is really, really nice. Yes. Please go out there. Please continue. Right now I have no defenses against air units. So my priority is making sure that I get some. And while we wait for that to roll, let's see what Dark Templar have to say. Okay. You did not want to evade my wrath. And you could your own shadow. Okay. Well, I will remember that, and I will make an attempt not to piss you off, sir. Alright, the upgrades are going along nicely. Getting more warp gates built. Build another gateway. more probes. Oh, here they come. And kill that thing. I don't like it. Alright, that's good enough. There's really no point in 
trying to chase it down. But we should definitely get a few things built up. So already in this level I can build uh, observers, high templar, just all sorts of nice fun things. And excellent. For the time being, I'm not going to worry about uh, building air units to share their unique dialogue. Uh, because I'm going to have an entire level later on that relies on nothing but air units. Well, not really, but... It relies primarily on the use of air units. So I am going to quickly move up and establish secondary base. And I don't think there's a spore colony here, so let's move in. Whoa, 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 probe, probe, probe. Come on, man. Nope. Alright, alright. Nope, no. Nope. Everybody move back except the Dark Templar. Thank you. We're going to need way more Dark Templar. Alright. Move in, move in, move in, kill that. Yes, I know, I know, I know. We'll probably survive. Alright, that's good, that's good. Actually, while we wait for that to get constructed, why don't we have... Our probe start building a little defensive outpost right here. We can drop down some nice, uh, some nice uh, defensive units. They're not in, um, photon cannons. That's it. That's it. I can drop down some nice photon cannons. It'll be a thing. Yes, build a cannon. Thank you. And then up here will be defended because I will soon have another six dragoons. The reason I'm not just going straight in to build the base is because it actually takes a fair amount of time for creep, this uh, purple stuff, to die off after you... Uh, destroy the buildings that create it. Do they have a detector building here? They do not. Excellent. Let's take this out before they can move up an overlord. I saw them trying to move in a thing. That's okay, though. Because I've got defenses. That should be enough defenses for now. We need... Oh, I can already do... Like, even more advanced upgrades? Okay. Uh, then, yeah, let's actually get that going. Actually, let's not, because my whole point here was that I wanted to get a secondary base going. See, even after all that time, the creep has still not fully withdrawn from the area. 
creep is extremely annoying. It's probably the most annoying thing in this game. Yes, yes, yes. Just move out, build more things. And may as well get the next level of upgrades going. Need a few more minerals before I can do my next level of shield research. Excellent, thank you, sir. Yeah, there we go, there we go. So they didn't even know that they had to, like, team up before they reached this position. So we're going to go ahead and retreat our primary team here. Move them back to base. Uh, screw it. Let's build more photon cannons. Alright. That's probably going to be enough photon cannons. So now we'll get this little uh, secondary mining operation going. And I'm actually going to move these guys down here to defend that area, just in case they try to do anything sneaky. And I'm going to move these guys up here, in case they decide to do anything sneaky. Because Zerg like to do things that are sneaky. Which is really impressive, given that they are currently a completely mindless and leaderless feral pack. Well... I mean, I guess not really. They are still technically, uh... They are still technically under the control of the Cerebrates. But it's probably safe to assume that the Cerebrates are having, um... more difficulty than usual in trying to control them. And we're going to build one more gateway. Because we are going to be building one hell of an army here. Oh, yep, see that? They moved in from the, uh, from the southern direction that time. They thought they could be sneaky, but they couldn't. And Templar Archives. Build that real quick. Excellent. Thank you very much. And I will build one more forge so that I can increase the efficiency of my upgrades. In case you haven't quite uh, figured it out yet, I don't like this bird. There, I solved the problem. Excellent. So let's upgrade to the next level of plasma shields. And then as soon as this is done, we will upgrade our weapons again. And now... It is time. To start building Dark Templar. Or, not Dark Templar, High Templar. Because, once again, yes... I'm going for Archons. And that did basically just burn through my entire supply of gas. But that's okay. Because I don't need a lot of Archons to be especially powerful. So let's see what High Templar say.
They totally just do that with their voice just to sound impressive, don't they? Oh, do they now? Quoting some Darth Vader at me. Oh, we got more moving in. Yeah, really not too worried about you guys. You cannot compete with those cannons. See? You guys just love to quote Darth, huh? Okay. Well, that's enough for now. Let's build... What did I upgrade? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. We are... How'd that attack go? Wasn't much of a problem, apparently. Alright! And we've got a few more miners, which is good. Always with the pylons. Fine, I will build more pylons. Jeez. Calm down about the pylons. So let's see what Archons have to say. Uh-huh. They have a really cool face image. Yep. Wait for the next... Cool. You know, I wish they would stop. Really? Really? They're just gonna talk over me every single time? That's very, very annoying. Let's try this again. Uh. Okay. Okay. Yep, now you're quoting contact. Okay, so how are we looking? Um, let's actually build up a few Dark Templar. They don't really have a good deal of survivability, but they work well enough. But I will definitely run out of Psy again. So we're just gonna build another of those, and then another of those. Alright. That should be enough. Let's move out everybody that I have right now. The enemy base is actually a bit annoying to get to, because it requires bursting through some ramps. So the first thing I'm actually going to do in order to breach the base is move in with my zealots. Just to sort of, uh, you know, break through. The zealots are kind of a suicide squad, to be honest. Uh, they're not going to do especially well, I love but their entire per 
why why did you guys trap that dragoon? That's just a weird thing to do. And then the Dark Templar are going to move in right behind the Zealots. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, Zealots. Can you please move in? Excellent. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, there's at least one sunken colony up here. Dude, guys, come on. And I want to make sure that we take those out. We should be able to get both of them before the Overlord shows up. And move in, take out that sunken colony, take out that spore colony, and then retreat. Excellent. Now we've got the upgrades we need. We're going to move all these guys down to the secondary mine. And the first thing we're going to do is move in with all of my zealots. And then we're going to move in all of my Dark Templar. Then we're going to move in all of my Archons. Come on, guys. Come on. I know you can do this. I know you can figure this out. Yeah, the AI pathing in this game can, um, can be a really can just be really terrible sometimes. And then we will move in the Dragoons. Because Dragoons do very, very badly on ramps. But as you can see, the uh, Archons have done an excellent job of uh, just serving as the heavy artillery. they'll be able to take out that. And we're actually going to move them in here. Take out this sunken colony. And then their whole job around here is just going to be to disrupt that area. Where, you know, units are created. And we actually have most of the team having survived. Four zealots got so lost that they gave up. This dragoon didn't even try... This Dark Templar got completely lost. The pathing in this game is a real issue. Executor, my crew and I will remain here on Iyer and shut the gate down on this side. It's the only way to make sure that the Zerg won't send more reinforcements to Shakuris. Okay. You will be hopelessly outnumbered. And once the gate is shut down, there will be no one to save you should you be overrun. Yeah, well, I'm a man of action. What can I say? I shall remain with Greener as well, Executor. My duty is to hire, after all. Farewell, then, brave warriors. We will send through all the troops we can spare. Sounds like a good plan. Thanks. You kids just remember to play nice from now on, okay? Wish us luck. Considering the Protoss have a massive amount of teleportation and warp technology, I think they're going to be fine. But we will find out on the next one.